Free X parasites whenever you possibly can. The station is home to many species, some violent ones. We must keep the X out of the breeding environments at all costs. This is vital, Samus. I'm already detecting massive biosigns in this region. The X are gathering. This may be our only chance to exterminate them, but you are only at 10% battle capacity. Your chance of survival is extremely low. The Federation needs you alive and on duty, Samus. Is your objective clear? Absolutely not, but I'm going to hit yes. Now get going. You release the lock on level 0 hatches, which are the basic glowing hatches. So now I'm at a dilemma. I could either play this on my portable DVD monitor, which is actually slightly good and has very minimal delay, or I could play this on my... You know, how I used to record my games all the time with massive delay. Like, we're talking like a whole second, which means the world in some cases. Alright, should I save? Uh, sometimes I want to do a no-save run on this game. I just want to see how far I can get without saving, but there's always like two or three parts in this game that are actually kind of tricky. Yeah, you've played this game, you already know what I'm talking about. It's a fucking nightmare every single time. Nightmare, and I'm scared of Cirrus, and I'm scared of Sector 6, the first run. I have received news from HQ. They can support you with downloadable weapons data. Once you have this data, you'll be able to use missiles. This will help you against some enemies your beam can't hurt. Head to the data room for the download. The data room is here. Is your objective clear? Yes, it is. With the missiles, your chance of survival climbs to 20%. Oh yeah, this is going to be really horrible playing with the GameCube D-pad. Going to be real lame, but it's worth it. This game is just that good. That computer reminds me of a gruff Federation CEO I served under named Adam Malkovich. He called me Lady on Missions. For anyone else, it would have sounded sarcastic, but Adam made it sound dignified. Out of respect and with some irony, I named the computer after him. For anyone else, that would have been fucking sexist. But, you know, it was okay with him. Some nice female logic. Alright, here's the thing. If you want to get 100% map completion, which the game really doesn't track, if you just like the game that much, on your first trip here, I think you have to actually come in here. Or otherwise, you won't get it. Alright, no need to step on that. He just tells you to walk into the next room. Alright, missiles. Like every other Metroid game, you can use missiles to uh, break stuff. And you need missile expansions to get more. Navigation room. Electrical interference has knocked out the elevators on the main deck. This may be related to the X, I'll work on it. As for you, try to find another way to the target. It's located here. I'm reading huge biocides, so I hope your missiles work. To reload missiles, you can use a recharge room or absorb a special type of X parasite. You'll see them try it out. Is your objective clear? Yes. Missiles are your only hope. Don't hesitate to use them. Now find a way to the target. Hold on a second. What do we even have in here? Timers. Sharp. Soft. Yeah, they really don't have anything. I just keep the space background because I like Metroid, and it kind of reminds me of Metroid, you know? In fact, look, the stars are almost the same color. Do you use select in this game? I don't remember if you do. No. That's, um... What was that game called again? Zero Mission. Alright. This is the only way out. The emergency hatch. Green X give you two missiles. I remember that. In fact, I only played this game, like, what, two months ago, maybe? Not even. I recently got back into playing a lot of handheld games on the train. I think I, talk about, uh, I talked about this on a podcast or something. I was trying to show Surgster 2 that this game is actually really good, and he basically blew it off and said this game sucks because um, it doesn't have auto save. Like, he really just refused to sit down with the game, which kind of pissed me off, but what can you do? Yeah, so there's a secret in there. I remember all these secrets. All these hidden items. Alright, again, same thing with this. I think you have to hit this on the first time. Maybe not. I don't think they would do, do that to you. 
Oh, this is so fucking laggy. It's unbelievable. <laughs> I just looked at the um. I just looked at the uh, the actual dazzle uh, pinnacle thing again. I can't. It's hard to believe that at some point that was actually advanced recording for me. Even now, it's still delayed as hell. This is actually kind of a really fucked up angle when you think about it. For a new player. Look at look at the look at the advanced jumping you have to do while dodging this fuck face. Oh my god, this is hard. Thank you. Those eyes always give you red X's. Alright, wall jumps. That's okay because you're about to get an energy tank. Actually, now, I know that all my Nintendo powers are gone, which kind of sucks, but watch this, ready? If you stand right here, and you aim up, you can actually jump outside the map. Like, who, who would even think about doing something like this? I know, right? But, I think I, I forget where I saw this. It was either a Nintendo Power or a guide for this game. You can jump outside the map and get an energy tank, an, an extra one, and I don't know if you can come back here later in the game. I think you can. You, you should be able to. I don't know, though. Alright, now this is gonna suck, because this, this is all precise. He immediately wastes a missile. Oh. Oh my god! Ugh. <laughs> but now that I'm using my turtle beaches to listen to the music in this game, it sounds amazing, man. Alright, I'm gonna have to shoot this guy so I can get some missiles back. There you go. He breaks with three. There's a lot of this stuff you can't hear using a Game Boy Advance speaker. It's um it's too it's not loud enough, it's not well pronounced. Alright, so I got the morph ball. Everyone knows what that is. If you've ever uh, played a Metroid game or even played a Smash Bros game, you know what the Morph Ball is. I think it's been in every Metroid game. Yeah, right? Yeah, it was in the original Metroid because they didn't want to program crawling, I believe. Crawling was too difficult back then on the NES. So they'd rather just turn her into a ball and have it spin. I think this game actually has the original Metroid on it. No, that's um, Zero Mission. Yeah, that's Zero Mission. Um... Yeah, now you just continue the navigation room. I actually don't need to save until, like, Sector 4. I mean, then again, there's no autosave, so on the off chance I die, that would suck. But, I really don't even feel like saving until Sector 4. Alright, Samus? It says, I feared the breeding environments have been invaded by ex-parasites. Sector 1, SRX shows several abnormalities on biosensors. Sector 1 is a simulation of the SR388 ecosystem. To get there, take the main elevator to the access shaft and use elevator 1. Is your objective clear? Yes. Use the navigation room just inside for further briefing. I'm not sure, but I think that whoever allowed the X into the environment may also be linked to the earlier explosion. Da -da -da -da. I wonder if they have the soundtrack for this game available anywhere. I'd buy it. It's one of my favorite games. Alright, there is a secret here. I think you need the speed booster. Actually, I'm almost 100% positive you need the speed booster because these are speed booster blocks right here. Now you can even attempt it until, like, later in the game. Oh, nice sturdy wall right here. I don't, you know, I don't imagine I'd be able to get inside there or anything. Alright, let's open, uh, let's use this elevator. <laughs> oh, shit! Wow, it's almost as though I was immediately proven wrong. As though I had foresight. Ugh! Quite the looker. Now look at those missiles destroying hatches and walls, as though that ever happens in a Metroid game. Yeah, we lined all the hatches with explosives on a space station. Geniuses. Alright, so the elevator shuts down. You will not be leaving 
the numbered sectors for quite some time, but that's okay because that's where most of the game takes place anyway. Sector 1, SRX. He gives you map data. You don't have to find the map rooms. He tells you everything you need, pretty much. Actually, I just lied. He doesn't tell you jack shit half the time. You have to find the secret rooms by yourself. But anyway, the main elevator leading to the access shaft that has been severed, uh, I thought it said severed, severely damaged. It'll be totally unusable for some time, unfortunately. An unknown agent is at work. Something very powerful, certainly not human. I'll report when I know more. Now listen closely. The X and Sector 1 have invaded the atmospheric stabilizers. They must want to alter the environment to their needs. They are already reproducing. Clear all five atmospheric stabilizers to stop them. Is your objective clear? Yes. Now get moving. Actually, this is where Searcher died. He died on Sector 1. I, I couldn't believe it. I even forgot what the game over screen for this game looked like. There's only like two bosses in this game I actually die on. Or have the potential to die on. Oh shit. And they're basically at the end of the game. Oh fuck. I hate this thing, man. Oh my god. There we go. They're gonna reinforce this, though. Stupid, like, blobs. Alright, there's the first atmospheric stabilizer. All it does is spit out X. I don't think they even do anything. You can just grab them if you need them. There you go. Oh fuck, it's the frog room. And these turn to bats, yeah. Oh, fuck, they have a really long range. I don't actually remember. Right? What is this? This isn't an energy tank, is it? Oh, it is! I thought it was a missile tank down here. So I don't play this game in two months and I already forget everything about it. That doesn't help my case. <laughs> I say this is one of my favorite games of all time. Let's face it, Pokemon Gold is one of my favorite games of all time. And fucking when I was a kid, I used to do horribly on that game. All right, these are actually pitfall blocks. You gotta jump over them. All right, good. Piss off. It's already two down. I don't think select does anything. That's not the select button on this. Actually, I think it does something here, right? No, it doesn't. I don't remember what select does in this game. Yep, this is a room with the word Asurai. I'm gonna shoot him in the face. I think there's another one? No, there's only three. Ah, oh, this is the space pirate corridor. Alright, now this room, you, you, you're not resistant to lava until the end of the game. But you can run over here and grab this. There's actually another expansion above the lava, but you can't reach it from here. I don't want to fall in. I want to risk it. So I'll just go back across. There's actually a couple of expansions in this room, I believe. I really prefer not to fight these guys, because they're annoying. Oh, come on. See what I mean? These guys are fucking annoying as hell, and they do massive damage. Like, this is just Sector 1. Massive damage on Sector 1. Oh, shit, it's this thing. You're not supposed to see more of those until Sector 4. Alright, run down over here. It's three, two more still malfunctioning. If only I could, you know, read the text without having to recite it from memory. Because of how bad it looks on the DVD player. 